Example 4. Juan Amina plans to buy a car worth 50,000 ringgit within a year. She plans to pay a down payment of 7,500 ringgit with her savings. Juan Amina does not have any savings. She wants to get a car loan from a bank. Bank X offers several options. After evaluating her financial status, Juan Amina chooses to pay the monthly installment for 7 years as that is what she can only afford. A. Based on Juan Amina's family financial planning, can she achieve her financial goal? Let's see Juan Amina's family financial planning. Let's see Port Amina Family Financial Plan and Actual Cash Flow. Financial planning for groceries is 1000 ringgit, but the actual expense is only 900 ringgit. So the surplus of income from 120 increased to 220. One Amina can achieve her short term financial goal of buying a car with a down payment of 7,500. Why? The total of money saving is the money saving is 650 ringgit. So the total of money saving is 650 ringgit times 12 months equals 7,800 ringgit. So she still has a surplus of 300 ringgit from her needs of 7,500 ringgit. The surplus of income is 220. She also has an excess of 220 ringgit per month in case of emergency or unexpected expenses. B. Is Paul Amina financial management wise? Satisfy your answer. It is a wise financial management because Paul Amina is spending on basic needs. She also has money savings, prioritize protection by buying insurance, and she does not have any debts like credit card debts. C. Does Paul Amina use a smart approach to achieve her financial goals? Justify your answer. Paul Amina use a smart approach to achieve her financial goals, which are specific. Buy a car worth 50,000 ringgit. Measurable. Pay a down payment of 7,500 ringgit. Attainable. If 7,500 ringgit for the down payment within a year. Realistic. Money saving of 750 ringgit is only 10% of total income of 6,500 ringgit. Time bound within a year. Reviewing and revising the progress. Reviewing and revising the progress of the financial plan from time to time is important to make sure cash flow is always positive. This indirectly helps us to achieve our financial goals as planned. We should also be prepared to change our financial goals if they are not realistic for our monthly income. Juan Amina's husband is promoted at the end of June in the same year with a 10% salary increase. The amount of the other expenses is fixed. What is the effect of Juan Amina's husband's salary increment on her financial goals? You can refer to example 4. His husband's salary is 3,500. So Juan Amina's husband's salary increment is 10% times 3,500 equals 350 ringgit. So Juan Amina's husband's new salary is 3,500 plus 350 equals 3,850 ringgit. When the salary of Juan Amina's husband is increased by 10%, the saving in the bank can be increased. This can help them in purchasing the car in less than one year as planned since other expenses are fixed. How do you evaluate the feasibility of the short-term and long-term financial plans? Feasibility means the state of being easily done. In Mandarin, Kao Sing Sing. In other words, how can we know the short-term and long-term financial plans can be carried out? A financial plan is developed to achieve our short-term and long-term financial goals. We have to identify our sources of income and expenses. An effective financial plan should set aside 10% savings of the total income prior to 
engaging any fixed expenses and viable expenses. In addition, the financial plan should prioritize the fixed expenses payment such as monthly installment of costs, houses, and credit card bills. If there is a negative cash flow, we should adjust the financial plan by reducing the viable expenses. At the same time, we can add a source of income with our skills to keep the fixed expenses unaffected. The information below shows Inject Yourself Income Expenses for December 2019. Inject Yourself works as an insurance agent, while his wife is a housewife. They have three children who are still studying. Inject Yourself wants to buy a fast brand computer which costs 6,000 ringgit to improve his insurance sales within a year. Can Inject Yourself achieve his goal? Cash flow is income balance minus total expenses. The income balance is 4,800 ringgit and the total money expenses is 1,500 and the total money viable expenses is 3,300 So the cash flow is zero Based on the financial plan, Inject Yourself does not have any savings so it is difficult for him to achieve his short-term financial goal does Inject Yourself manage his financial effectively? He does not manage his financial effectively because there are expenses that can be reduced such as the spending on telephone, food and drinks. Furthermore, he does not have any investment plan for his future. How much money savings does Inject Yourself need to save in order to achieve his goal? 6,000 ringgit divided by a year. 12 months, so the money saving is 500 ringgit. How can an additional income be generated to increase the total income? Inject Yourself can increase his income by selling more insurance products and recruiting more new agents. Create a new financial plan based on the smart concept. The smart concept in the new financial plan. Specific. Buy a computer that costs 6,000 ringgit. Measurable. Save 500 ringgit every month to achieve the goals. Attainable. Can save 500 ringgit from the income of 5,000 ringgit. Realistic. 500 ringgit is only 10% of the total income of 5,000 ringgit. Time bound. One year is enough to save 6,000 ringgit with money saving of 500 ringgit. Inject yourself new financial plan. Add money saving 500 ringgit. These expenses can be reduced if he spends more carefully. He can cut his personal expenses from 520 ringgit to 300 ringgit. Save 120 ringgit. Then cut the telephone bill from 480 ringgit to 300 ringgit. Save 180 ringgit. Then cut the utility bills from 500 ringgit to 350 ringgit. It save 150 ringgit. Cut the travel expenses from 400 ringgit to 200 ringgit. So it save 200 ringgit. And he plans to invest unit trust. It increased expenses from 0 to 150 ringgit. And the total monthly viable expenses reduced from 3,300 to 2,800 ringgit. Totally save 500 ringgit. Inject yourself saving of 500 ringgit a month can help him save 6,000 ringgit by end of the year 2020 to achieve his short term goal. Each financial plan should be evaluated from time to time based on several factors. One of the factors that Inject Yourself should focus on is the current inflation rate that can lead to an increase in the cost of living. This can indirectly increase the total expenses. If this happens, Inject Yourself should take action to increase his income. 
However, in the Yusuf financial plan can be achieved as he has invested a unit trust. The additional expenses can be covered by the dividends received. However, unit trusts do not always profitable. There is risk of losing money 